Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you know it's possible to emulate 3DS games on the Apple Silicon Mac? This is all thanks to an emulator called Citra. However, Citra decided to remove macOS support last year because it was moving the graphics API backend to Vulkan. However, macOS support has returned in the canary builds of Citra. So not only is Citra now a native ARM application that is optimized for the Apple Silicon Mac, it also uses the Vulkan backend using a translation layer called Molten V. UK. Now, emulation of 3DS games on macOS is not perfect at the moment. There are still some issues, especially with the Molten VK translation layer. However, it's really good to see that Mac support is back with this emulator. As always, with emulating Nintendo system titles, you're going to need access to the jailbroken console versions. So here I've got the 2DS running homebrew launcher, and this is ideally where you're going to be able to get your games from. You're going to decrypt the original cartridges directly onto the 2DS and then transfer it onto your Mac. In this video, I'm not going to be linking or answering any questions about where to download these ROMs from. They're easily found on the internet or you really should be using your own 2DS. So today I'm going to show you the entire process of how to get 3DS games working on the Apple Silicon Mac from start to finish and to get the Canary builds working too. Hopefully in the future, this is going to be transitioned to the mainline build so we don't have to use the Canary build workaround, but this is going to have to do if you want to play 3DS games right now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Citra website. So you can type into Google Citra and then you'll be able to click on the first link here or you can go directly to the citra-emu.org website which I'll leave a link to in the description and then we need to click on the download button on the top menu bar and you'll be taken to this download Citra page. So just be aware that Citra does not support Apple Silicon Macs officially yet. We can download the Intel Mac x64 build but this is not what we want to do today. But for now what we're going to do is click on the manual download button and get to this download Citra page. This page contains nightly builds and also canary builds. So at the moment, this page does not contain macOS builds, but if we scroll down to the canary builds section here, we can see that macOS support was recently added. And this only happened a few days ago. And you're going to find that all of these different versions of the canary build are all going to perform slightly differently. So I've tested out this build, for example, 6448, which was a little bit buggy. However, what I'm going to do today is actually use the first build that was made available, the 941 FPEC build. However, if you're watching this video in the future you might have more luck with the latest canary build or if there's a nightly build with a macOS release you might have better luck there so here we're going to be using this particular build I'm going to click on the apple logo for this row and it's going to download that build of citra so once the file is downloaded we're going to go to finder and then go to our downloads folder and you're going to find this citra osx tar.gz archive and what we're going to do is to double click on this to extract this and this is going to create a folder which we're going to double click on and so the application that we want is the citra dash QT and what you're going to find is that if you double click on this it's going to give you an error message it says that it's damaged but this is actually not the case we just need to change the attributes of this in order to get this to run on a Mac so what we're going to do is to click on the spotlight icon on the top right hand side and then open up the terminal window and then press on the top option here and we're going to type in the command xattr space dash cr space so just make sure to leave a space here and then we're going to drag and drop the citra dash qt into the terminal window and that's going to put the citra dash qt dot app into the correct path and this will basically change the attributes of this application so that we can actually run it so go ahead and press return and now we can minimize this and when we double click on citra qt it's going to actually open here it's asking us whether we want to send data press yes or no and now we have citra canary 2485 all installed so now it's asking us to double click to add a new folder for the game list so what i'm going to do is double click on here and then add my game list here and this contains my list of decrypted 3ds games so i can't show you how to download games from the internet ideally you should be decrypting this from your jailbroken 2ds or 3ds so go ahead and select the folder and press the open button and now we have our list of games presented here so now i'm going to do some configuration by clicking on the citra button and then go to preferences i'm going to tweak some settings so the first setting i'm going to tweak is the graphic setting here ideally internal resolution is pretty low on a 2ds what we want to do is bump this up so normally i recommend going to three times native and this is going to be a good balance between performance and graphical fidelity so select something like this you might want to tweak it up or down for specific games depending on how they perform next thing is that we're going to go to advanced and we're going to change the graphics api so what you're going to find is that software and opengl do not work you have to use vulkan and macOS doesn't have native vulkan support so citra actually uses molten vk in order for vulkan to work and the next we need to change our control 
else. So here we do have keyboard support. However, I do highly recommend using a controller. So here I've got my Xbox One wireless controller paired via Bluetooth. Just press the sync button and power it up to Mac OS. And what I'm gonna do is press new to create a new profile. I'm gonna call this one Xbox. And then in order to remap this automatically, I wanna press the auto map button here. And it says here, after pressing okay, press any button on your joystick. So press OK here, and I'm just going to press the A key, and it's basically automatically remapped all of the buttons correctly so that it works on my Xbox One controller. So that's all working properly. The other thing that you should be aware of is the hotkeys. So maybe make a screenshot of this because this is really quite helpful. Now what I'm going to do is press OK, and now we're basically ready to run some games. So all of these games have different levels of compatibility. Some of them run perfectly, like Bravely Default, and some games are only OK. So performance really depends on the current state of Citric compatibility. You might also find Citric compatibility for Mac a little bit worse than say for Windows. So now what I'm going to do is to run a game. So here you're going to run Ocarina of Time. So just going to load this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is to full screen this. So you can press the function F button. In order to full screen this, it takes a few seconds for the window to maximize. This one's called large screen. We also have single screen. However, we can't see the touch window. And also there's another layout which I like, which is called side by side. This one works okay, but it's really nice to have the main game window a little bit bigger. So let's stick with large screen. And now we're ready to play Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D using the controller on macOS. So you can see a game like Zelda Ocarina of Time working pretty well on Citra, despite the fact that this is a canary build of the emulator. It's running at a solid 30 FPS, which is what the frame limit of this game is. Other games like Pokemon X and Y seem to work pretty well, also running at 30 FPS. Just be aware that there are some graphical issues, for example, the flickering textures on the characters during battles, but otherwise this game seems to be quite playable. So I know that Pokemon X and Y are basically going to be some of the most requested titles to work on Citra on Mac. And this Canary build of Citra is definitely a pretty huge improvement of what we had before. Previously, the Citra window wouldn't even render without resizing, and it would frequently crash with Pokemon X and Y. However, it looks like this version of the game should be playable from start to finish, albeit with the graphical issues. So next up, we're looking at Super Mario 3D Land, which is a slightly more demanding 3D title. Looking at the game itself, it doesn't feel like there's any kind of stuttering. However, there is a small slowdown. You can see from the stats bar at the bottom, the game is only running at 56 FPS, where it should be 60, and the game speed is only running at 93%. So it looks like Citro Mac emulation of this game isn't quite perfect yet. However, as you can see, it's still very playable. So one resource that you definitely have to check out is the Citra game compatibility list, which I'll leave a link to in the description. There are actually many titles that function perfectly. And one example is going to be a game called Bravely Default. This is one of those classic turn-based JRPGs that seems to work perfectly well on Apple Silicon Macs using Citra. So anyway, on the compatibility list, there are plenty of other titles similar to Bravely Default that seem to work really well on Mac hardware. So make sure to check it out. So anyway, that is how you get 3DS games working on the Apple Silicon Mac using the Canary build of Citra. Hopefully all of these fixes will be rolled into the mainline versions of Citra in the future. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.